All right, welcome back guys. This is Jam Down the Toolman. I'm uh, here to do a quick review on this product that I've been using for quite some time. This is the Nightcore NU25 headlamp. Uh, this is a headlamp that has internal batteries, so they are not removable. You have to charge it. It has a charging port on the headlamp itself. Typical uh, micro USB. Uh, comes with this cable and a, and a, and a USB charging plug. And... Uh, so um, one thing I like about this light, it's extremely light. I'm an aircraft mechanic. I use this light um, on a day-to-day -day basis. We work a lot at night or sometimes you have to go in an air which is not illuminated properly. So you need that extra light. This thing works well for me. Uh, why I like this light, I'll show you real quick. The first thing I like about it is the weight of it. It's light when it's on your head. It doesn't um, feel like you're carrying around extra extra weight or bogging down your head. It's not it's not humongous. It's like when you look at it from the side, it's pretty. Th it has a thin profile. It has an adjust. It's adjustable right here, so it has different levels of adjustment. Adjustment is pretty stiff. I can say when you're walking and you're shaking it up, the it does not slip out of whichever adjustment it is in. The second thing that I like about this light, I don't know if you guys can see in the video, but you see, can you see that there's a rubberized piece that's here? Uh, I think it's a it's a silicone. I'm not sure what it is, but it runs along part of the um, the headband. That what's good about it is uh, when you're wearing the light, when you're wearing the head the, the headlight, sorry, and you start sweating. Instead of the light wanting to fall off of your forehead, this helps to hold it in place. It does not feel uncomfortable on your head. Like you don't even notice it's there. It just stays in one place. The strap itself is light. It's um to me it's pretty breathable because comparing to other headlights I've used in the past, this one does not make me feel hot. Um, I've used lights in the past that when you have this light, when you have the light on for a long period of time, it starts heating up and you feel the heat soak from here. So you, so you start sweating just from the heat soak of the light. This light, I've run this light for a maximum of um, a roughly about four hours continuously on the high mode, which produces about 190 lumens. It's pretty bright and uh, I have not had any heat soak. So that's a good thing for me. Um, yeah, so that's it right there. The, the headband, it's adjustable. Uh, I have, uh, I would say, a large head. So it works and it's comfortable for me. Uh, another thing I want to show you. The buttons are rubberized buttons. It has two buttons. One is for a red light over on this side. And this is a power light. Um, in this regular white light mode, you have three typical modes that you can run through a low a medium and a high uh, the low mode produces like one lumen um, it's not bright at all you can't use that light for it for anything in my in my opinion one lumen of light is like you just pff, I don't know what it's there for um, medium mode it's okay um, if I'm doing something up close and I don't need a lot of light because air is already illum illuminated properly I can use that but for the most part I use the high mode I need quite a bit of light and high mode works really well um, it also has a turbo mode where you can hold down the button and it goes into a turbo mode I'll show you real quick that's a turbo mode it's pretty bright 360 lumens it doesn't last long um, I, they say it drains the battery real quick I don't use I don't use turbo mode I don't need a turbo mode I just need continuous light um, another thing I like about it this red light here has three modes see this flashing mode I use that flashing mode if I'm if I'm on the airport and I'm walking from one aircraft to another um, and it's I'm walking quite some distance for example some I'll have it on my head I put on the flashing mode just to help give myself extra um, visibility on the ramp to feel safer that's one thing i like about it um okay so 
Let me show you guys real quick. The best thing about this light here that I use a lot, it has a mode in it which is very close to a natural daylight mode. Uh, you hold on the main power button here. This light lights up. Now, this light comes out a little yellow. If you look on my hand, my hand doesn't look very different, right? It, it, is, it doesn't give you a white light. So what's good about this light right here is, especially when you're working with um, color codes, um, you have to look on wires for color codes or lines or whatever, hydraulic lines, whatever, and they have little markings on them and color coding. This light helps out a lot because uh, when you use a white light, for example, this light right here, it can distort the color somewhat. So, so far, this light works well for me. I can honestly say in my opinion, I recommend this light for anyone who is in aircraft industry because it's so light, you can wear it comfortably. If you have to go into a small crawl space because of its thin profile, you don't have to worry about it knocking it off your head as easily as some of the bigger lights there's no heat soak from the light so you can wear it for a long period of time i don't know who nightcore in originally intended this for but i bought it as a trial light because it's not expensive i got it for like off amazon for about 30 dollars i think but yeah so 30 or 36 dollars something like there about but it's an excellent light Give it two thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. Please like my videos. Don't forget to subscribe.